getting very close to being out of time, so I'm going to try to give you each a minute to um, to wrap up. And I'm sorry we didn't get to the. You can talk about it in your closing okay. statement a little bit <laughs> about the exploding budget. But I want to tell people as we go, um, try to keep it under a minute. And and I want to thank folks for watching. We'll start with you, Lori, sure. if you don't mind. Thank you for doing for You're hosting welcome. this. Thank you for thank everyone you. who's running. I think it's really fabulous that there's four people running in Essex Junction. I think it says a lot for our community. Um, thanks for everyone who's watched. And I just want to say I have committed myself to Essex Junction over the years, and I want to take it to the next level of ensuring that our voice through things we do today is being heard in the State House. Um, by someone who can not only listen, but collaborate, negotiate, ask the tough questions, but then, you know, get to a, a result, get to an action and move things forward. And hopefully you've seen some of the things I've done in the community, and I'm that person, and I hope for your support. As my husband says, I'm, I'm running for a job, so I hope you hire me. <laughs> Thank you, Paul. <laughs> And thanks. Uh, you know, it's unfortunate we didn't get a chance to talk tonight. When I ask folks and I go door to door in Essex and I say, you know, what is Vermont doing well or what are things you're concerned about? The first word at it, 80% of the people's mouth is taxes. Right? And, and I think um, we've talked about a couple things that, that about Vermont's quality of life. Um, but we didn't talk a lot about what good does a quality of life do if, if you can't afford it. And I have been contacting people that told me they were supporting me two years ago, sending them uh, letters and updates and, and let them know what I'm doing. And I have a stack of people that do not live in Essex Junction anymore. Two years ago they were here and now they're gone. They're gone to Newman, Georgia, Falls Church, Virginia, Bradenton, Florida, Camp Hill, Pennsylvania, Conway, South Carolina, on and on. The issue that we have is young people are having a hard time finding jobs and affordable housing to get here and folks who are on a fixed income are leaving. And we've got to make Vermont affordable for more people. Thank you, Paul. Appreciate it. Mike, keep it short. We've got a couple minutes. and I'm, that's I'm going to go as fast as I can. Thank you. But um, I want to thank everybody. Um, I, I agree with Lori. I think having three people in this race makes it, um, gives people a choice. Um, I, I'm, I hope that I'm one of those people that you choose. Um, I've got um, a lot of service here uh, in Essex Junction. It's, it's where my wife and my daughter and I have made our home. Um, I have 15 years of service on different committees. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm in my second term as a select board member. If I'm fortunate enough to be elected, I want to keep that seat in addition to serving in Montpelier because I can't think of a better way to keep my eye on Essex Junction um, and Essex as a whole uh, than to be on the select board to do that. So um, I, I think if you look at my record um, and if you go to my website, mikeplegman.com, I think you'll find that I have a record of collaboration um, and being able to do um, the, the ask the tough questions that need to get asked. But collaboration and cooperation um, are the things that have gotten me where I am. And I'd just like to continue that down in Montpelier. Dylan, I think. you get the last word. Well, I'll keep it quick because I know we got under a minute. But let me just say this. It's such an honor to run in a competitive race with people who really care about the community. You know, for me, I grew up in Vermont. I've lived here my whole life. I bought a home in Essex Junction with my wife, Candace, because we want to start a family there. She serves on the school board. I try to get involved as much as I can. I go out to a lot of meetings, see what folks are saying, chat with them. I've gone to over 2,500 doors talking with neighbors this summer. You know, I hear the good, I hear the medium, I hear the bad. But what I keep hearing is that folks want to be able to reach their representative. They want to know how to get a hold of them. So go to my website. It's www.vtdylan.com. I ask for your support on November 8th. And if you have any questions, call me. 802-734-8841. I'm happy to chat. Thank, Thank you, folks. We appreciate it. Thank you so much for viewing. You can find this on online as well, Channel 17. Thank you very much.